Welcome to Animal Wonders. Today we're going to meet some of our amazing animal ambassadors. We're going to learn about their group. We're going to talk about why it's confusing sometimes to classify animals. And we're going to talk a little bit about the terms we use. So what do you think of when you hear the word conure? If you thought loud, you are so right. But if you didn't even hear the word before, you're me, 10 years ago. This is a conure, a green cheek conure to be exact, or you could call her a green cheek parakeet. I just call her ginger. And this is where the complication of classifying starts. So the word conure is both an old term and a new term. It's an old out of date classification for a genus of parrot-like new world birds, and it's called conurus. New world just means the Americas. Now the previous genus Canurus included some present day genera that has now been broken apart into more specific groups. Today the term is used mostly in aviculture, which is the keeping and breeding of birds in captivity. And I use the term because that's how I was first introduced to my many Central and South American citizen friends. But it also helps me explain the difference in the groups. So I'd heard of parrots and parakeets before, but what the heck was a conure? This. <laughs> is a conure. <laughs> this is a gende conure or a gendea parakeet. Both terms are correct. I call her Ecuador. Now gende conures are closely related to sun conures and they're very popular in the pet trade, but they are very, very vocal. Oh, I soon discovered these birds were one of the most neglected and rehomed groups in the animal rescue world. The more I learned about the individual personalities of the birds that I got to rescue, my fascination with these overly exploited and underappreciated group of birds grew. And the more I tried to define what a conure was, the more complicated it seemed to get. So most people that see a bird with a curved beak, you can do it. Oh, and bright feathers say, that's a parrot, and they're correct. So here's how it goes. All parrot-like birds belong to the order Citisiformes, but then there are families that break them down into smaller groups. The three main families are Citisidae, Citisulidae, and Cockatooidae. The family Citisidae includes birds like macaws and parrots and conjures and parakeets. The family Citisulidae includes birds like lovebirds and lorries and other old world parrots. And then the family Cockatooidae includes cockatoos and cockatiels and others. So what makes a conure different from a parrot? Well, they're not really different, they're just more specific. So this is a parrot. This is Zoe. She's a Red Lord Amazon parrot. And you can look at her and you can, you can see that she has a very heavy body. And her tail, her tail is very squared at the bottom. Would you like another treat? No. Okay, but then when you look at, at Lulu, the half moon conure, you can see that he has more slender body and his tail is tapered or cone shaped. And you can see a big difference, not just their size, but the shape of their body. So if you look at Lulu and Ecuador and ignore the coloration on their feathers, just look at the characteristics on their body. Both of them have a hooked bill curved in a very similar way. They have long tapered tails, which are about the same length as their body. They have short feet and their toe arrangement is zygodactyl, which is two toes in the front and two toes in the back. And if you look up at their eyes, they both have a bare patch surrounding their eye. So the group of conures are made up of quite a few different genera. The main two are Priura and Aratinga. These two are both in the Aratinga genus and Aratinga means mini macaw. Speaking of, this is a macaw. This is Joy, and she's a blue and gold macaw. Are you too excited? <laughs> now you can see she's much larger than Lulu in Ecuador, but she has similar characteristics in her body. You can see that she has almost a slender body and this long tapered tail. That's pretty much the same length as her body. So we met three conures, a parrot, and now a macaw. But what's the difference between a parakeet and a conure? Well, this is a parakeet. His name is Zapper. He's an Alexandrian parakeet or Alexandrian parrot. He can't be considered a conure, even though he has a long tapered tail and the slender body of a conure. He is found in India, Thailand, and Afghanistan and surrounding areas, so he's considered an old world parrot instead of a new world parrot. He's also part of the family Citisulidae instead of 
Citicidae. Ah. So let's meet another conure. This is Maui, and she's a color morph of the green cheek conure. She's referred to as a pineapple green cheek conure. Note her long, slender tail and cone shaped like that, so she belongs to the parakeet group, but she also lives in the New World, so she can defi be defined as a conure. So let's really classify her. Her order is Citiciformes, her family is Citacidae, and then her genus is Pyura, as opposed to Aratingo, which was Lulu and Ecuador, the other one. Now let's make things even more fun. This is a parrotlet, a Pacific parrotlet named Sprinkles, and he is a parrot, but not a parakeet. Notice his heavy body set, and his tail, when spread out, is going to look like a square, very similar to our Amazon parrot Zoe. And lastly, we have Boxer, the peach-faced lovebird. He's not a conure, and he's not a parakeet. He looks very similar to Sprinkles the parrotlet, but he is an old world parrot. Very small little parrot, but he does not belong to the family Sedacidae like Sprinkles does, but he belongs to the family Citisulidae like Zapper or Alexandrian parakeet. But unlike Zapper, he's not a parakeet. He is a small parrot with a heavy body and a squared tail. All right guys, so to wrap this up, all conures are parrots, but not all parrots are conures. All conures are parakeets, but not all parakeets are conures. And all parakeets are parrots, but not all parrots are parakeets. Make sense? If you have any questions about all that or anything else, you can find me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook. You can find out about all about animal wonders on our website. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and join us on an adventure every week. Hey guys, we had so many questions last time that we couldn't fit into one episode. So here we are making a second episode, and this is going to be called Ask Jesse 1.5. And if you have any questions, you can find me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook. Don't forget to subscri subscribe to our YouTube channel <laughs> and join us on an adventure every week.